commitment begins with the murder of an agent, Lee Young Ho, who believed he was going back home from South Korea after his dutiful service to his country. But as we are going to see later on, no one ever goes back home alive after serving as an agent. The agent that was murdered turned out to be Ma Young Hoon's father, a North Korean operative for the Pyongyang regime. Immediately after the death of Lee Young Ho, his children Ma Young Hoon and Ri Hai En are sent to a forced labor camp in North Korea by the North Korean military commander Moon Sang Chul. The commander later comes back, accuses Ma Young Hoon's father of being a traitor, and offers a deal to Ma Young Hoon in exchange for freedom for both himself and his sister. For them to be free, he had to complete the mission that his father failed at by becoming an agent in South Korea. Ma Young Hoon insisted that his father was not a traitor and agrees to take up the deal. Ma Young Hoon then moves to South Korea under the pretense of being a North Korea defector. A South Korean couple comes to adopt him. However, the South Korean couple are actually North Korean spies and they enroll Ma Young Hoon at a local high school. The couple warns Ma Young Hoon to focus on his own business while they focus on theirs as well. Ma Young Hoon has a little trouble assimilating into his new high school, but makes fast friends with Lee Hai En, a girl who shares his sister's name and has aspirations of becoming a professional dancer. They bond together as the targets of relentless bullying by a gang of popular high school thugs who subject them to routine shakedowns. Aside from these incidents, Ma Young Hoon manages to keep up with his studies and is able to answer the teacher's questions intelligently. While in school, Lee Hai Yen often stays by closed doors to watch the dancers rehearse. One day, the dancers meet her in their dancing room and makes fun of her, calling her a loser. Lee Hai Yen later cuts her hair, quits school, and chooses to follow her dreams of becoming a professional dancer. Ma Young Hoon finds out where she now works and also helps her out by standing in as her elder brother. For the first time, Lee Hai Yen gets to find out that Ma Young Hoon has a younger sister who shares the same name with her. Lee Hai Yen takes Ma Young Hoon to a place where she says she only comes to when she misses her parents. She showed him a map she had through her gum to and how it landed on a place that she would love to go. Lee encouraged Ma Young Hoon to throw his own gum on the wall and check for where it will land. Ma Young Hoon does it, but it lands onto the Pacific Ocean. 19-year-old Lee Ma Young Hoon, who never imagined he would become a killer, had to juggle between life as a student by day and as a killer by night. Each person he had to kill on his missions left him drained mentally. Ma Young Hoon then receives a mission. In order to rescue his sister and go back home to the north, he must locate and take out Big Dipper, a North Korean agent working for the opposing government faction. Meanwhile, a powerful struggle ensues in between two North Korean factions, Section 8 and Unit 35, and Ma Young Hoon, who is a Section 8 agent, quickly becomes a liability and must ultimately cope with Colonel Moon's treachery. As a result of the power struggle, Ma Young Hoon's safe house is soon discovered and his foster parents are murdered. Ma Young Hoon arrives at his safe house and is attacked by the other North Korean faction agents. He successfully defends himself, but after this unsuccessful attack at his safe house, Ma Young Hoon destroys the place with a bomb to clear out all trace. On the other side, the leaders of the two North Korea factions sit down to discuss, and they conclude that all the Section 8 agents will either be killed or handed over to the leaders of the Section 35. Ma Young Hoon, who is a Section 8 agent, now finds himself threatened by both South Korean intelligence agents and his own respective government. A South Korean agent, Cha Jung Min, is sent to investigate the explosion Ma Young Hoon creates to obliterate his house, the remains of his foster parents, and the spy who killed them. The agent starts to put the pieces of the puzzle together and tries to help Ma Young Hoon, who is not very cooperative. Ma Young Hoon is now at a new location, since his safe house and foster home have been destroyed. While he is waiting for his Colonel Moon to contact him, he bonds with the female lieutenant in charge of his new safe house. The lieutenant instructs him to call her Granny. As they both get along and interact, Granny asks for Ma Young Hoon's family, and Ma Young Hoon responded by showing a photograph of himself, his father, and his sister. Right away, 
She recognizes Ma Young Hoon's father, but doesn't say anything. Granny was also the last person to bade Ma Young Hoon's father farewell before his death. Ma Young Hoon is contacted for a mission while he is with Granny, and he was told it would be his last. After which, he will get to see his sister. A phone recording was sent to Ma Young Hoon for him to know that his sister was still alive. In the video, Ma Young Hoon's sister, Hyun, told him that she had made a gift for him, so he should hurry up to come and get it. On completion of the mission, an excited Ma Young Hoon goes to say goodbye to his friend from school, Ayin and Granny. With the thought that he was going home, he steps into a boat, but was soon stabbed in the back by the person that was meant to see him off. In shock, he inquired to know who sent him. The agent that attacked him laughed and told him he was naive to think that he would be allowed to go home alive. It was at this point that Ma Young Hoon knew he was in trouble. Ma Young Hoon managed to defend himself, but he was injured badly. Ma Young Hoon goes back to Granny for cover, but arrived there just in time to witness her murder by the North Koreans who were in search of him. Before Granny is shot, she sights Ma Young Hoon among the crowd and signals him to run away. Colonel Moon quickly detects this and pursues Ma Young Hoon. He goes to the house of his friend, Lee Hyun, to seek refuge, but immediately he wakes up. He makes a move to leave. Hyun further encouraged him to stay and told him that they were friends. At this point, she told him she knew he was on the run. Ma Young Hoon's face was already on every TV station, and he was portrayed as a killer. Lee Hyun saw this and stood by him. The South Korean and the North Korean agents were on the search for him. Lee Hyun goes to a supermarket on a faithful day, and right there and then, some agents come into the supermarket with pictures of her and Ma Young Hoon. The attendant at the supermarket beckons on her. And then the North Korean agents asked if she knew the whereabouts of Ma Young Hoon. She denied ever making contact with Ma Young Hoon and stated that she had no idea of his whereabouts. Immediately she gets home. She goes ahead to cover Ma Young Hoon's motorcycle. Ma Young Hoon is then contacted by the Colonel Moon on phone and asked to bring the diamonds he got from the last mission in exchange for his sister. Ma Young Hoon leaves the house but drops a note for Hai Yin. Immediately, Lee hai Yin sees the note. She also notifies the South Korean agents. Ma Young Hoon got to the venue, and just as he was handing the diamonds to the North Korean agents, an agent was also given an order to shoot him from behind. The South Korean agents came to his rescue, saves his sister, and stops the North Korean agents from taking Ma Young Hoon's life. Ma Young Hoon calls to confirm that his sister was safe with the South Korean agents. Ayin is given a lovely reception by the South Korean agents. On the other side, Colonel Moon reaches out to Ma Young Hoon and informs him that his friend Lee Hyun has been kidnapped by them. The only way Lee Hyun will be free is for Ma Young Hoon to bring the diamonds he collected from his last mission to him. On arrival at the scene, a broken Ma Young Hoon demands to know why Colonel Moon made everyone believe he was a killer even after he had followed all the orders he ever got from North Korea. In the absence of any satisfactory reply from Colonel Moon, Ma Young Hoon throws the diamonds into the air. Ma Young Hoon saves Hai Yen and sends a grenade to the remaining part of the building as the wounded Ma Young Hoon leaves the building with Lee Hai Yen. Colonel Moon grabs him. Ma Young Hoon instructs Lee Hai Yen to keep on moving. At this point, the South Korean agents arrive at the scene too. It becomes a face-off between three people, but Ma Young Hoon refuses to back down. He claims that there was no way he could go back after all. He exchanges bullets with Colonel Moon, and the both of them fall to the ground. The South Korean agent, Cha Jung Min, helps Ma Young Hoon up from the ground, and Lee Hai Yen joins him in the car. On their way to the hospital, Ma Young Hoon dies. Ri Hai-in is also sad at the other end. The film ends with the two Hai-in, Lee Hai-in, and To Hai-in getting to meet one another. Cha Jung-min introduces Ri Hai-in to Lee Hai-in. The both of them then take a walk as Lee Hai-in tells Ma Young hoons sister how she met Ma Young hoon This movie successfully combines family, nationalism, loyalty, high school bullying, 
espionage between countries, and the bonds between them all. What do you think of the story so far? Let us know in the comments section. Thanks for watching till the end. Don't forget to like and share this video. Also subscribe to this channel for more mind-blowing movie recaps. Bye.